Yeah. You heard that news. Yeah. Com. Will you take your music? Favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> your favorite website. You know, new yeah. music. A uh, bunch of just good, good, good videos, good news. Just you know, my Great opinion. Content. And a lot of um, and a supporter of Superstar Radio. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You found you found supporter of Superstar Radio, so you'll you'll see a lot of his interviews and his videos on the site pretty soon. So what's going on? I mean, um, just right now, I'm just chilling. Uh, we signed a deal with Complex Media Network back in wow. uh, in September, so you know we're getting money through there. You're not wearing black I know. Nah, nah, yeah, I got my sponsor, so I'm not. Like, I can add color to my wardrobe. But, uh, nah, we just, you know, we're looking for more original content, just, you know, having a little bit more fun, a little bit more leeway, and uh, just giving my opinion more opinionated. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Now, I want to ask you, what made you just want to do the blog? You just got up and say, you know what, I'm going to create my own blog and just rape people and talk about it. <laughs> nah, nah, what, what it was, um, I had a radio show down at Howard University. For wow, you went up? Howard? Yeah. You went there? Yeah, yeah. Got wow, crazy. On the, on the campus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got my bachelor's in broadcast journalism, so um, I started okay. a radio show. I had a lot of you know, good connections with the DJs and the artists that came down there. Yeah. And um, after college, you know, things didn't you know, work out as I planned. Didn't get a radio job, didn't get a job in the media. So I had all these connects, had all this music, had a loud mouth. So I was like, all right, let me just start. You heard it back yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just start a website. I called up my man, who's my, my business associate. Shout out to Tom. And I asked him, you know, what he thought of the name. And he said, go with it. So we've been rocking with it for the last six years. And don't even have a job. That's all you do. I mean, I've had jobs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've had jobs like when I started. When I started the website, I, I worked at a hotel. Worked at okay. front, front desk supervisor at the Dump Tree Hotel. Wow. So I was updating the website. I was, I was checking <laughs> wow. Yeah, getting, yeah. getting in trouble. You know, you know then, I, good scoops that, 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 then I, um, I quit there. Did a couple of odd jobs. You know, worked in just everything you can imagine. Well, wound up back at a hotel. Mm -hmm. And then uh, BT came and found me through the website in 2008. Wow! So I, you know, I worked for them, you know, as a music news producer, you know, yeah. writing news stories, you know, and interviewing people, going to events, and uh, got laid off in about three months ago. Mm -hmm. and oh man, yeah, so getting money. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now we're getting money. Yeah. 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 Okay. So like growing up, there was no blogger. So like, this is all new. Though. Explain a blogger, a real blogger, and a fake blogger. <laughs> Cause let me tell you something. Def Jam is mad at him. Could you tell him why Def Jam kind of said? Cause his his word. Well, no, no, Def Jam's not mad at me because um, you know what happened was you know Jay Z and Kanye West released the, you know their song, Hand from the Washington Throne. Yeah. Um, and I basically just wrote my whole dissertation of how I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like I wasn't you know you know crapping on. It. I was just like I expected more. I, you know, I wanted more, and I expect better from the next thing. That's what yeah, I mean. yeah. So I wasn't hating. I was critiquing it. You know, and I told him what it I did. So happy it went to the whole Def Jam office. I mean, it's not the Def Jam office. It's like to everybody. You know, everybody. Some people agree with me. So, yeah. So what's I mean, the difference between a real blogger and a fake blogger? I mean, like, I, I really don't have the criteria between a real blogger and a fake blogger. I just know I like to do what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Some people constitute it as a real blogger. Some people constitute me just having a loud mouth, stealing music, and sitting at home watching. <laughs> oh yeah. Blog, what's you know? the deal with that? Like, the government has been cracking down on these websites. Yeah, I don't Where, know. That that's they you just, know, they're bored. Yeah. Yeah, they see it. They see it as money. It's money in this now. They see us stealing. They think it's counterfeit. They think you know we're. Well, are y'all being taxed? Huh? Are y'all being taxed? Nah. Well, that's the problem. The strippers ain't being taxed. I mean, they're being taxed. Yeah, a lot of people ain't being taxed. They just need them alone. But you gotta understand too that he helps out. He breaks a lot of artists. Yeah, I mean, they don't see that. On the music side, is terrific. No, but that's what his whole site is about. And to get it to don't get it twisted. These labels. We'll send you the music, but then when the when when the piper comes, mm -hmm. then they they're oh, higher. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. Yeah, that could be that, that's like a whole different <laughs> show, <laughs> different week. Like we could go into all that. Yeah. I just, so so let me let me ask you something. Yeah. Now, you know me and you were talking. Yeah. Shout out to D Vasquez for putting that together. And yeah. now, um, I wanted to ask you because you know sometimes I'm really trying to get into the next person because Wiz Khalifa really kept my head up. Like wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then shout out to the Double XL because they were very accurate on the last cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of those dudes are doing their thing right now. Yeah. Other covers, uh, boom. Yeah, it's time to so where are they finding all this information to get these guys on the cover? I mean, like it's just the people who are online. Like these artists are bred online, and like their story is online. It's just whether you want to go out and look for their story, look for their backstory. I mean, you can find a hot song, you can find a hot mixtape. But you really, to understand that artist, where they came from, what they're yeah. about, where they want to go, you really got to dig deep 
and really find out, you know, Wiz Khalifa from Pittsburgh and put out about six or seven mixtapes before the Christian OJ. But a yeah. lot of people who are on Wiz Khalifa right now didn't know that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's about, you know, the consumer, it's about the fan, it's about, you know, the label execs going and looking for these artists and looking up their stories so they know how to promote, so they know how to tackle these artists. A lot of people aren't doing that. Yeah. Know? So that's, that's, that's basically what it is. You got to look and research. So let me ask you something. Like, for an artist right here, because a lot of artists watch our show and I told them, you know what I mean, they'll get advice from you. How can you get big on the blogs? I know that, you know, somebody told me, like, you need to build your fans. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Forget the radio. When you have your fans, you know, you got people like, like the little B, the bass guard. Yeah. I, I don't even know what it is. I'm looking in the um, Highland yeah. Ballroom and he's yeah. having guys, his mothers, like, you can fuck my yeah. mother if you want. Yeah. I love your music. Like, how do you get <laughs> these, these cold people like that? I mean, like with him, it's just like, and I don't, I don't listen to Lil B, and I'm not gonna, say that. I'm not gonna like trash him either. But I just, I don't listen to that, yeah. that, that nonsense. But he established a cult following because he let people into his world. Like he really brought people in and just like hypnotized and mesmerized people with what he was about and what he liked and what he was doing. Um, what you really need to do as a new artist is establish who you are and where you've been. Like you have to have a story. Yeah, like, you can't just keep sending us you know, songs and, and, and cover art and videos, like, we're not gonna gauge who you are from that. You know okay, what I'm saying? So like, yeah, so you who have, would you engage on it? I mean, I yeah. mean like, this is like, different, like, you know, for one, Twitter, you know, you know, involve people in your real life. Like, yeah. you're not just a rapper, you are a person too. Like, yeah. I'm sure you have a side job, I'm sure you got, you know, friend drama, I'm sure you got, you know, family, like, I'm sure you have all of that. Yeah. Like, if you can't, the hotel. Yeah, like, I mean, like, yeah, if you can't, if we can't relate to you, then it's like, why we wanna listen to your music? Like, yeah. perfect. A perfect example is guy um, Machine Gun Kelly from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And he just put out a video called, you know, Three Minutes in a Minivan with Machine Gun Kelly. And he's singing through all these songs, like rock songs, rap songs, yeah. R&B. And he's just like singing them and you get the personality from him. Wow. As that, as that artist. And now you want to go back and listen to his mixtape. Now you want to go back and see what he was doing before mm -hmm. he was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to establish a connection. If you don't have no connection with your with your fan and your consumers, it's like who are you? You're just another rapper with another email trying to get on another blog, and that's it. Wow. So let me ask you something, um, because I wanted you to break down who we should look for right now. The five, you know, what I mean, five top to rappers in blogs. I mean, they're just the next Wiz Khalifa or just the next cult. I mean, like we don't, we don't. This, that's that's one thing we don't always want to, you know, say who's the next, who's the yeah. next. We want to say like who's the first or you know who's that guy yeah. that's gonna. Yeah, who's that guy? I, I, and personally, I like you know this guy named uh, Nico Villamore. He's from Atlanta. Okay. Um, I found him you know through my email. You yeah. Know, he presented himself pretty good, and uh, he's got a um, he's got a song called Hop Out. You can find him on my blog. You heard that news .com. Uh -huh. um, Another guy, uh, JFK the homie. He's from Virginia. You know, presented his mixtape. You know, let me inside his world. You know, pretty good stuff. Um, there's a lot of people on there that you can find on my blog. And you know, specifically yesterday, I did a lot of new artists. You know, okay. everybody, you know, everybody posts a lot of a lot of the same stuff on the blog nowadays. So last night, I just posted about six or seven or eight new artists who have never heard of, who I never heard of. Yeah. You know, listen to the music, and I was like, okay, I like this. And yeah. I just put it up on the site, and if people gauge it, then that's cool. If not, you know, we're gonna keep finding new artists and let people know that we are out here posting. New artists taking those chances. Yeah, taking those like chances that. on people. So okay, so, so um, how much traffic do you get on your website? Um, I want to say we reach a hundred thousand unique visitors. Okay. A month. Like I always like I'm always off with the numbers, so I don't want to you know say. I think you don't want to say yeah, the big numbers. I don't want to chase you. you. No, you uh, yeah, so I, just, I mean we're we're good. You know that's. that's <laughs> he doesn't have a job, guy. He's we're good right, right now. I don't, I don't mean he doesn't that. wear black. I don't, I don't mean that in a cocky way. You yeah. know, I'm saying like you know I remember the days where I was getting 90 hits a day. Yeah. And you know now it's, it's triple, and you know so it's just, I'm just blessed in that standpoint. All right, so um, I know Double XL is shooting a new cover right now. I mm -hmm. think Big Crit is coming out here. Um, who, who do you? Can you tell us, like, you know, give us a secret, like, who's going to be on the cover? I, I can't. I don't even know to be honest, but I know Big Crit will probably be one. Um, I'm shooting for Smoke Dizza. Um, I'm shooting for my man Troy Ave from Brooklyn. Um, Kendrick Lamar. Troy Ave, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Troy Ave. Yeah, that's that's the homie. Like, man, we got something special coming up for Super Bowl too. So. Um, uh, Kendrick Lamar, um, it's a lot of people, a lot of people that are really, you know, coming up on the, on that cover. But I don't, they they're probably gonna surprise a lot of people too. So, mm -hmm. you, know, so. you know, XXL is known to upset 
a lot of folks. So, you know, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see who, who they have on that. All, All right. So tell the people how they can get at you. You know what I mean? I bet you a hundred million artists is gonna be in your yeah, email yeah, box yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you know, just tell them what it is. That's why. That's why I welcome that. Um, you can one follow me on Twitter. You know, twitter.com backslash lowkeyuhtn. Um, hit me on the email lkuhtn at gmail.com. Two songs. One picture, <laughs> a, brief, a brief description of what you are, yeah. where you are, where you from. I don't need all that jazz about how you're the next artist and how you're just going to yeah. I don't need all that. Just keep it simple. You know, let me be able to listen to your music. No links, no Hulk share links, no user share. Just give me the two MP3s, one picture, and a brief description, and we'll go from there. And if I don't like your music, it's not because I think you're whack. I just don't like it. You know, it's, it's, I'm not the only <laughs> blog online. Like, yeah. Trillion other blogs, not right to those boys, exclusive zones. You know, shout out to the New Music Cartel. Like they may like your music too, but it ain't just me that don't like your music. Don't don't send me hate mail and like, get on Twitter and start going crazy with. It. Yeah. Can you um, tell us the website one more time? There's a couple people in the chat room. You heard that new y o u h e a r d t h a t n e w dot com. Let's go. And you're hosting a party tonight. Yeah, I'm hosting a party. If you're in the city right now, if you're not, you know, scared of this weather, come down to State Lounge. It's on East House and Street. You know, it's a two dope boy, ill banger. We do it every month. The last Friday of every month, I'm hosting. I go on around 12, 12.30. I'll probably have about a couple drinks in me, so <laughs> come have some good times. You know, you probably ain't got to work. Fuck that block, <laughs> son! <laughs> so give it up for Low Key. Right, you know right. what it is, man. You know the Twitter. Tell the Twitter again. Twitter.com backslash Low Key U-H-T-N. Let's go.